Hi, welcome to English Academy 101. My name is Michael, and I'm here to help you with your English learning journey. Today, we are going to learn about prepositions of time, namely the prepositions in, on, and at. These prepositions can be very confusing, but we are here to help you better understand. If you would like to skip ahead to any part in today's lesson, we have added video chapters below that you can select. When looking at these three prepositions, the most important thing that you need to remember is that in is the most general or biggest, on is more specific or smaller, and at is very specific or the smallest. In. Let's start with the preposition in. It can be used with centuries, such as in the 1800s, in the 1900s, etc. For example, I was born in the 1900s. This is not very specific. It means that I was born anywhere between 1900 and 1999. Therefore, we have to use in. It can be used with decades, such as in the 80s, in the 90s, etc. For example, Nirvana was a popular rock band in the 90s. Again, this is not very specific. It can mean any time between 1990 and 1999. It can be used with years, such as in 1980, in 1999, etc. For example, Barack Obama became President of the United States of America in 2009. It can be used with months, such as in January, in February, etc. For example, her birthday is in November. This is not very specific, as we don't know the exact day in November. It can be used with weeks, such as in one week, in two weeks, etc. For example, we will go to the beach in three weeks. This is not very specific, as we don't know the exact day. Is it a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc.? It is not clear. It can also be used for seasons, such as in spring, in summer, in autumn or fall, in winter, for example. They like going skiing in the winter. Depending where you live, winter can be very different. In the US, for example, you could be referring to any time between December and February. It can also be used to describe periods of time, such as in the future or in the past. For example, in the future, humans will colonize Mars. The future is infinite. It just means any time after now. It can be used for holidays, such as in the Christmas holiday. For example, I really love all the festivities in the Christmas holiday. In the United States, the Christmas holiday starts right after Thanksgiving, which is in the fourth Thursday in November, all the way to December 25th. Therefore, when we talk about holidays, we are talking about a period of time. It can also be used for parts of a day, such as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. For example, in the morning, I like to drink coffee. This is not very specific, as I could be drinking coffee at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., etc. In addition, it indicates that this is a habit. In other words, I drink coffee every morning. On. Now, let's look at the preposition on. 
This is more specific than in. It can be used with holidays with day, such as on Christmas Day. For example, the children could not wait to open up their present on Christmas Day. Previously, we used in to talk about the whole Christmas holiday. However, now we use on to specify on Christmas Day. In other words, we are only talking about December 25th. It can be used with days, such as on Monday, on Tuesday, etc. For example, we have a meeting with the client on Wednesday. This is more specific than just saying we have an appointment with the client in two weeks. It can be used with dates, such as on April 6th. For example, her exam is on April 6th. This is more specific than just saying her exam is in April. It can be used with specific days, such as on my birthday. For example, she went to the amusement park on her birthday. We don't know the exact day of her birthday. However, in context, we understand that it is a specific day on the calendar. It can also be used with time, such as on the weekend. For example, they went to the zoo on the weekend. The weekend, normally Saturday and Sunday, is more specific than just saying in one week. It can also be used with day plus part of a day, such as on Sunday morning. For example, previously I stated that I drink coffee in the morning. However, I also eat a donut on Sunday morning. This indicates that I drink coffee every morning, but only on Sunday do I eat a donut. At. Lastly, let's look at the preposition at. This is the most specific of the three prepositions. It can be used with hours, such as at 9 a.m. or at 9 p.m. For example, I eat breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Now you know exactly when I eat breakfast. It can be used with parts of the day, such as at midnight or at midday. For example, she usually goes to sleep at midnight. Here, midnight is the same for a specific hour, 12 a.m. It can be used with time, such as at the moment. For example, at the moment, you are watching a video about prepositions of time. In other words, right now, you are watching a video about prepositions of time. It can also be used with holidays without day, such as at Christmas. For example, at Christmas, my family likes to sing Christmas carols. Remember, previously, we said that in the Christmas holidays was the entire season and on Christmas Day was specifically December 25th. Now, at Christmas is the specific time you celebrate Christmas on Christmas Day. Needless to say, these three prepositions are quite important when talking about time. They allow you to precisely describe when an event is taking place. If you would like some more practice with prepositions of time, check out our website, EnglishAcademy101.com, where we have included some additional exercises. We have included a link in the description below. That's it for now. Don't forget to keep studying your English.